Hey Internet, Captain Erica here, coming at you with a Meandering Maker Haversack review video. So, um, I'm out in the woods today, and it is a gorgeous June day. Um, I've got the Haversack on me. I did a short, quick look video at the Haversack with just like the details before I really used the pack. So. I'll put the link in like the little corner thing if you just want like a short video. This video will be a little bit longer and I'll go into some more details and things like that. So I'm gonna find a place to kind of sit, uh, sit down and then I'll talk about the pack. Okay, so I found myself a, a log to sit on here. Um, let's just talk about this haversack. So uh, this is made, this haversack is made in Texas by um, Meandering Maker, uh, Guy is his name. <laughs> um, and he primarily posts a lot of things on Instagram and stuff, and so I'll link his uh, website and his Instagram below. So um, I've made a couple modifications to my haversack. I added a patch, <laughs> and then I added a grab handle to it. Um, but other than that, this is what the pack, uh, haversack looks like when you get it. So it's super heavy-duty cam wax canvas and um, leather. So this is definitely uh, not a light haversack, but a very cool looking haversack <laughs> so um, very heavy duty um, and I'm just I've just been thrilled with how much I've been able just to like throw it down and just use and abuse it without any guilt <laughs> uh, so I'll show you some close-ups of the stitching and things like that as I as I talk here um, this haversack is a really simple haversack so there's no additional pockets. There's no like axe sleeves or anything on the back. It's just a leather strap with a pad um, and actual pack. And so um, I'll just open it up and show you what I got in it. It's definitely large enough that you can overpack it, which I know is easy to do with our woods gear. Um, but right now I have it uh, packed. This is the stitching from my bad sewing, that guy. <laughs> um, I have it packed with a, as, as a supplement to my EDC. So essentially I carry everything I kind of need to survive in the woods potentially or in an urban environment. But this pack, I just grab it and now I'm out on a bushcraft trip. So there's just bushcrafty things in here. Um, Guy also makes these super awesome possibles pouches, by the way. <laughs> um, and so I just, in this pouch, it's got orange inside, I just want to show you that. This is my toilet paper, like right now, my toilet paper and my hand sanitizer. Um, this is a large possibles pouch. So in comparison to his uh, pack here, he, he sells a variety of sizes of possibles pouches. So the large one just like slides right in and kind of fills it up to the top. So there's that. And I won't go into detail too much, but this is a sit pad. Um, this is a little baggie I made for uh, with some bank line in it. I've got my baggie with my gloves. Uh, I have a, this is actually a garage sale find I found recently. This is a, a World War II officer's cup that came in their mess kit, so 1953. But anyway, can't be bushcrafty without a cool cup. Um, my fire kit and basic tools. So I have my silky saw, a shovel, and my Bark River knife. That is all that I have in this bag. So it's a, it's a really wide bag. You can see, it, it, I can fit, this is a Silky F-180 by the way. Um, I can fit kind of the ver more vertical stuff, I just plop it in the bottom of the bag. It's protected by leather. Um, yeah, it's gonna, your stuff is definitely protected. Um, so, that's kind of like my day trip bushcraft gear that like fits in here. Also, you can fit, a Nalgene will fit in here no problem um, if you wanted to do that. I kind of, I tend to carry my water bottles in my backpack just because of weight things. But if you were just taking this out and nothing else, uh, you could definitely, with the way I've packed it, you could squeeze in a, a water bottle or something like that. Another nice use for this, could also be just just for your cooking gear or something. Uh, keep all your other doodads in your backpack um, and then keep like a cook set kit in here or something like that. So the uh, I made this addition. This is the only like 
kind of complaint I have about this uh, haversack is that a grab handle I found was essential. So this is not guys handiwork. This is a very ugly <laughs> grab handle. Um, but I did add that to the bag because it was just this strap. This strap is super comfortable. It's got this really nice soft leather pad here. Um, and it's, it's kind of, it's a short pad, but it's just enough that, to rest on your shoulder and you can kind of adjust it a little bit. Oh, the mosquitoes, good grief. Um, so very comfortable shoulder pad. I'll kind of, I'll do like a little me wearing it twirl here in the video. Heard, heard something doing. There's definitely animals out here, so sometimes I'm like hearing something, I'm like, is that a deer or something? So anyway, um, so it has a shoulder strap, and the, what I love, love, love about this pack is the D-rings. The D-rings, the strap is actually removable, um, so that's really cool. And what that makes it is it makes it more versatile. Like I've used the D-rings to hang my keys on, to hang my water bottle on when I had it too jam-packed. Um, I hung it from my bike uh, as a pannier, so I actually like used it to um, without the strap at all. And the D rings and everything are super secure on here, and I haven't had any issues with that. So they're a nice size; they're very sturdy. I find that the D ring feature on this haversack is actually one of like the biggest features for me that makes it so awesome. I remember when I first saw this pack on Inst or this haversack on Instagram, the first thing I was like, D rings, yes. <laughs> um, so anyway, in my opinion, <laughs> the D rings are super versatile. Now you have the option; you can really jam this thing full. I tend to like it uh, closed on the first hole, but you have several options here as far as how where you know how jam packed you want to get it. Um, the lid itself isn't huge. It's not like a big giant flap, um, but the opening is actually pretty big. So what I do when I close it is I like to push my fingers in like this and then kind of close the pack like this before I buckle it. That kind of keeps everything contained. And then once it's buckled, it's good to go. Um, but if you just kind of let them flap and you don't have the pack super jammed, there is kind of these places uh, where the, the like actual lid isn't covering the haversack. This is like a pro and a con I've discovered. Like it might be a con to you if you're worried about losing gear, but it's totally a pro if you need to like grab something really quick. Uh, so I found it really nice if I have like my wallet in here and I'm out and about, I can actually just like grab my wallet out or whatever. Um, but that is something to think about when, you, when you're buying one of these is kind of like how contained do you want your gear? Um, my, my solution is just making sure that I'm really conscious when I'm closing it, but I think that it's a, it's a nice design to have kind of a smaller flap on the outside. Personally, I think it looks cool. <laughs> uh, and also you can, you know, you can jam it pretty full and even if you get it all the way out to like the max size that you can do and you've got it all jam packed with stuff, the lid is, is going to reach and cover your stuff um, and so the dimensions of the bag it's it's a wide bag and you can see I'll put it on I'll show like me wearing it but when I'm wearing it it's not like slim to my body like some haversacks are this haversack the way it's designed um, it's meant to just kind of the because the strap is like here on the back it is meant to kind of just be here hanging at your side kind of like so that you can access it super easy um, and when you flip it open while it's hanging like this the bag doesn't like it makes it really easy to get your stuff <laughs> that's what, what I'm trying to say um, so it's really nice as a haver like haversacks you know you're you're get you're putting your kind of quick access gear in here so um, it's nice to kind of be able to have it kind of hanging um, and sometimes like if I'm getting in and out of it a lot, I just kind of tuck the strap like that. Um, there are so many mosquitoes out here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so, uh, and then I'll, sometimes I just do it like this, but when I want everything all secure, 
I get it all the way closed. So super thick, awesome leather um, strapping. I'm never worried about my, my stuff, that's for sure. I know that like aesthetics aren't everything and the functionality of your gear is number one, but this haversack in particular has nailed it on both things. It is a beautiful but functional piece of art in my opinion. I love this thing. So here's what the shoulder strap pad looks like. Um, I've got the bag at my side right now, so it's got plenty of space. Even if you have big shoulders, oh my gosh, I'm getting eaten alive. I Cam Today, Cameron and I are testing vitamin B patches to see if they repel mosquitoes, because apparently for some people it does. Uh, obviously, it's not working well for me. Oh gosh, anyway. Uh, dedication, right? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, even if you have a big shoulder, there's plenty of space here. When I switch the bag like around, I don't have to move this too much, but if I need to, I can, and it's pretty tight, so like it stays where it's supposed to. So that's nice. And it's kind of like, I think aesthetically, like it's interesting that this, the buckskin pad is like a, kind of a lighter color. Um, it's gonna wear over time kind of with its unique pattern and you know my body sweat and whatever else on it so it's already got some kind of unique characterization since I got it so that's kind of interesting okay guys thank you so much for watching uh, the meandering maker haversack uh, more in-depth review um, I hope it was at least slightly organized in thought for you um, I know that some folks really love haversacks and some people are like, why would you even use one of those? I think it's definitely important when you're using a haversack to not overpack it, otherwise it kind of like burns you on the idea of a haversack because then you're just like way, you know, you're really weighed down by this heavy pack. But right now, this, you know, what I've got it packed with, it's not very much weight, um, but I have access to the gear I want. Um, I pretty, I don't have a complete kit in my haversack, but I have most of the stuff I would need if I like needed to survive. <laughs> I'm gonna put some bug spray on because this bee patch is not working very good. Uh, and uh, go play around in the woods some. Thank you so much for watching. Um, do check out Guy's um, gear on Instagram or his website. He's, not only is his work super meticulous and the whole idea of like made in the USA, blah, 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 blah. He's a really nice guy. <laughs> um, so. I'm really happy that I was able to get a haversack from him and I highly recommend that you guys check out his work because it's it's just it's just gorgeous. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Peace.